Hi, this is Michael from Barista Next Door and today I'm going to show you how to pour a latte art rosetta. Now the rosetta is somewhat more complicated than the heart and you'll actually have to know the techniques and all the single steps to be able to pour this pattern. But as soon as you got that down, it really only boils down to practice and with a little bit of practice you'll still be able to pour this pattern rather soon. As usual with latte art, you want to loosen up the crammer by slowly pouring the milk into the coffee and once you see that the crammer is changing color or that the milk is leaving white traces basically you're good to start pouring your rosetta. To pour the pattern we will move the jug to the far end of the cup and there we will start gently wiggling it from the left to the right and then from the right to the left and back again and so on and so forth so we want to make a continuous wiggling movement. Now with this movement we want to make sure that we keep a steady um, speed so that we don't vary um, the speed of the pouring too much at all and that we keep a steady width of the pour so that we always kind of um, pour the same distance from the left to the right and back and this speed and time steadiness will ensure that we get nice and even leaves. We also want to move the jug from the far end of the cup to the front end of the cup. And this slow movement of the jug should also be very steady because it will influence the distance between the leaves. So if you're moving rather fast you get an um, um, increased distance between the leaves and if you move rather slow um, the distance between the leaves will be a uh, further compressed. So now you can lower the jug towards the cup and start creating a little heart on top of your rosetta. This is just a finishing off um, kind of thing and it makes the rosetta really look nice if you have a heart on top of it. You can then do your finishing move by raising your jug and pulling through towards the back end of the cup and finishing off the heart and at the same time finishing off the rosetta and splitting the leaves in the middle and then your pattern is done. I hope this video will help you to get started learning the pattern of the rosetta or it will help you to improve the rosetta that you're already pouring. And that said, enjoy practicing and I'll see you soon.